Mr. President, today I'd like to speak on a topic very important to my wife, Diana, to me, and for that matter, to all of Wyoming, and should be important to all of America. It's a topic of great importance in Wyoming. It's a topic at the core of what makes Wyoming the equality state. It's Wyoming Women's Suffrage Day tomorrow. I recently had the pleasure of introducing, and along with my friend Senator Barrasso, passing Senate Resolution 430, which recognizes tomorrow, December 10th, 2019, as Wyoming Women's Suffrage Day. Wyoming Women's Suffrage Day celebrates the contribution of women to our great state and Wyoming's place in history as the trailblazer for women's suffrage. 150 years ago, on December 10, 1869, the Wyoming Territory approved the first law in legislative history, recognizing women's inherent right to vote and to hold public office, 50 years before the enactment of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution in 1920. This historic step even preceded Wyoming statehood. The young territory granted women the right to vote 20 years before becoming the 44th state admitted to the Union. In fact, when Congress invited Wyoming to join the Union, they demanded that women's suffrage be revoked. And the Wyoming legislature, an all-men's legislature, said, we will remain out of the Union 100 years rather than come in without the women. This pioneer spirit is truly remarkable and something I keep in front of my mind every day as I continue my work in the Senate. Wyoming was not going to allow the acknowledgement of women's right to vote to be ceremonial or artificial. In fact, one short year after recognizing women's right to vote, women began holding public office throughout Wyoming, serving as the first women in the United States to do so. In 1870, Esther Hobart Morris became the first female justice of the peace, serving in South Pass City, Wyoming. That year, Wyoming also saw the country's first all-female jury and the first woman bailiff in the world, Martha Simon Boys. Later in 1894, Estelle Reed Real Meyer became Wyoming Superintendent of Public Instruction, the first in the country female to be elected to a statewide position. From 1920 to 1921, Jackson, Wyoming, was the first town in the United States governed completely by women. These trailblazing women embodied the cowboy values we hold dear and showed that Wyoming truly has earned its title as the equality state. Just as they did in 1869, women's voices and their votes continue to help build our economy and guide our democracy. Throughout history, Wyoming has been home to many remarkable women, and today still recognizes how important women are to the success of the state. This continued dedication to being the equality state has made Wyoming home to trailblazing women's organizations like the Wyoming Women's Legislative Caucus, a nonpartisan caucus that advocates for the support and leadership of women in all levels of government. Climb Wyoming, which helps single mothers transition to long-term self-sufficiency through better paying jobs, including non-traditional jobs. That's the key to Wyoming's economy. Climb Wyoming does this through innovative programming that goes beyond just job training, and the Women's Business Center, which supports aspiring female entrepreneurs and business owners through educational tools to help them plan, start, and grow successful businesses. As a former small business owner myself, I know how important these businesses are to the fabric of our great state. Wyoming Women's Suffrage Day is a testament to the contributions women make and have made, and will continue to make in Wyoming, and the values that make our state stand out as an example to the rest of the country. I look forward to working with Senator Barrasso and Congresswoman Cheney to ensure Wyoming continues to do the things the cowboy way, 
striving to hold the tradition of excellence and equity and equality well into the future. Madam President, I yield the floor.